Kurt Edwin Simeon Okraku is a seasoned football administrator and sports journalist whose years of experience dates back to his days as a student volunteer at campus-based Radio Universe in 1994 while he was studying for his Bachelor of Arts degree at the University of Ghana. Born in Achimota, Kurt continued his development as a journalist by enrolling at the Ghana Institute of Journalism where he earned a diploma in journalism certificate in 2000, a year after leaving the University of Ghana. And while working for his diploma in journalism, Kurt Okraku took up a job at Osu-based Groove FM where he served as the sports editor marshalling a team of six to deliver sports news to a wide audience between 1998 and 2000. I met Kurt uh, about 25 years ago. I remember exactly where I met him. Uh, we went on the radio program in Vibe FM. We shared thoughts. And he was then um, one of the guys running the Colts teams in Achimota. He used to come to my house. I used to spend lots of time in his house. Uh, surprisingly, uh, even though he's Christian, he went to Makaranta. How Eddie came to become a Hausa boy, I was surprised. He could speak Hausa. You think he was born among Hausa people? Hey, maybe can say, when did you learn this? So uh, I was surprised. I wanted to know his dad. I went there and met his dad. So I got to know the family really, really well. And I remember that on Sundays, uh, we go to the stadium to watch football matches, be it hard to fall for our graduate Olympics. It was what we spent our weekends, um, you know, doing. Whilst he was um, doing his radio invest stuff, I was also doing stuff with Trice FM. But when I went to the University of Ghana, I joined him and Kwame Bani the sports desk and uh, we worked um, together there. This was followed by a one-year stint with Network Broadcasting Limited as Deputy Sports Editor responsible for collection and presentation of sports news. What I noticed about him is his relationship with Cobra Ibuwa. Ah, it's terrible. And I don't think Cobra Ibuwa knows him. He didn't know him. But every expression Cobra Ibuwa puts on the newspaper, the next day this will be reciting it. Nowhere else than the gents. I've been after Cobra Ibuwa all along trying to get him to take credit to give to him. This is a boy I give you. Test him. If you think he's good, keep him for yourself. Otherwise, bring me my son. His time as a journalist was interspersed with PR duties for both governmental and private firms. Between 1996 and 1998, he was handed the responsibility of serving as public relations officer for Tema-based Afienya FC where he handled the club's official correspondence with the public as well as taking charge of the outfit's agenda of repositioning its brand. In similar vein, he worked at the PR department of the Ministry of Youth and Sports from 1997 to 1998, handling all media relations duties. Beyond his exploits in the media, Ket Okraku has extensive experience when it comes to consulting on matters related to sports. He consulted for Jehovah Nisi International Soccer Promotions based in the Israeli city of Tel Aviv between 2003 and 2007 as well as Manchester-based All Sports Management Consult. Intending to utilize his advanced certificate in marketing gained at the M.O. Wood Colleges in 2001, Mr. Okraku took up a job as a director of Proton Marketing and Management Services in the UK. His marketing skills and his ability as an adept communicator proved pivotal when he served as the communications and marketing director for Accra Hearts of Oak Sporting Club in 2006. Yeah. Chance and Hearts of Oak have scored! Beautiful and exciting time for the Phobians. During the days of the 2000 or so when we were playing the Champions League, 
I happened to be the chairman of what we call the Africa Cup Planning Committee. And I, we brought together the number of young men. Neil Armstrong, Neil Armstrong, Keto Kraku, the uh, Honorable Siama, Minister, currently Minister, and they were members of various subcommittees. That is where I first came into contact with Kate. Some of the ideas he had, how the ideas I saw in him, influenced us in growing the flotation because he wanted us to move from the traditional way of doing running as a folk to business, uh, the more modern trend. While acting in that capacity, Mr. Okraku implemented communication and marketing strategies that sought to reposition the Accra Hazevog brand as a formidable one in African football. I looked at Okraku when I was the chief of the country of Accra Hazevog. He's in charge of man, fish. He's very dynamic. In 2008, he was appointed as the administrative manager of the Ghana League Clubs Association, Gauka. In addition to supervising the staff at the Gauka Secretariat, he was responsible for overseeing the execution and management of technical as well as other programs by the Executive Council. Aside Gauka, Kate has worked in various capacities related to the organization of the country's annual FA Cup. He was Vice President of the FA Cup Committee from 2016 to 2017 before being elevated to the highest position as Chairman of the Committee in 2017. Having served in various capacities and across various institutions both in Ghana and abroad, Okraku continued to aspire to greater heights, taking on bigger tasks and challenges. He is currently the executive chairman of Dreams Football Club, the only man to assume that position since the club's formation in 2009. Under his guidance and leadership, Dreams Football Club has gone from being an obscure club playing in the Division 1 league to becoming a recognized force. to be reckoned with in the highest level of club football in Ghana, the Ghana Premier League. His successes in football administration is not least a product of his conscientiousness and the meticulousness he attaches to his work, but also the byproduct of the knowledge he acquired while studying for his MBA in football at the University of Liverpool in 2005. Sincerely speaking, from my heart of hearts, I fear him, honestly, because his attainments and his achievements and his commitment is shocking to me. As a confident, self-motivated person with excellent communication skills, he is always seeking the opportunity to deploy his experience and great networking skills to contribute to the success of any venture he engages in or finds himself connected to. Sincerely speaking, if we can all be one as Ghanaians and we try our most just as you are doing now to know my son's background and what you think he can do, I don't think we have any problem selecting somebody. Say, so matter of you go there and take it. It's good. And I pray to the Almighty, if he will be given this chance, the country has nothing to lose at all. Not only is he multi-talented and great at multitasking, Mr. Ket Okraku maintains an open mind and is ever willing to explore new opportunities and new experiences that will add to an already stellar CV.